Hi, ah, it's Pavel with the Java uh, homework. Uh, it's a very short one, very easy one. Uh, we're supposed to write an app that generates a random integer radius r and height for a cylinder in the range of 1 to 10 inclusive. And then we will compute the volume and surface area of the cylinder. Now, the formula for the surface area is uh, this. That's what we'll be using for volume pi times uh, radius squared time, uh, times the uh, height. Okay, so let's get to do some coding. Uh, we don't need this line, of course. And we need the, um, so it's going to be the integer r. And uh, we will need the integer h, so radius and height. And we'll do the double volume and double area. All right, so um, since we are working with random numbers, we need to import the library import java.util.random. And we, of course, need the, to instantiate, instantiate the random object random rand equals new random. There. Now let's assign the random numbers to our uh, r and h variables, to our uh, radius and our height. So r equals random uh, dot next integer. And it's supposed to be from 1 to 10 inclusive. So over here it starts from 1. 10 so we need 11 we need 10 numbers from 1 so actually it's going to be 10 10 numbers from 1 makes it 11 but the last one doesn't uh, we don't take into account so only 10 and uh, h equals the same thing random uh, next integer is going to be 10 and starting from 1. This is always a little confusing. Uh, 1 is the starting point, included. We'll add 10 numbers from 1, so we got 11. And obviously, 10 plus uh, 1 is 11, but that's not inclusive anymore. So, in other words, <laughs> from is inclusive, 2 is not. It's the one number below, so that's why 10. So together we get uh, 11 numbers, but only the, the 11th number is not uh, generated. It's only the 10th one. Okay, and uh, let's do the calculation. So our volume equals, what does that equal? Pi times r squared and uh, times h. So uh, math dot pi times math dot power uh, of the r to the power of 2 and finally times h so that's our volume pi times r squared times i mean pi times r to the power of 2 times h and our uh, area equals 2 times, I don't remember the rest, 2 times pi times r times h, okay, pi r h, so math dot pi times r times h, like that, I'll do it this way, because that's plus 2 times pi times r squared plus 2 times math dot pi times math dot power of r times uh, to the power of 2, math squared, I said before. Okay, so uh, 2 pi r h. 2 pi r h and 2 pi r to the power of 2. 
plus 2 pi r to the power of 2. Okay, so that's the calculations. And all we have to do is uh, display the numbers. I will also display the, uh, the random numbers just so we see. We can verify that they are in the right range. So system dot out dot print line r equals r system dot out dot print line h equals uh, h equals h of course and system dot out dot print line volume equals our volume and finally system dot out dot print line area equals and it equals the area all right let's do some uh, quick run see what we get so our random numbers is our our random numbers are six and nine so let's do let's let's compare the calculations so volume is uh, let's do the volume first uh, what were the numbers again uh, six and nine six and nine so r is six h is nine oops nine 1017.88 1017.88 yeah that's correct and let's do the um, area 6 and 9 565 49 565 49 so that is correct as you can see let's run it a few times just to verify the numbers okay so we got r equals 10 which is inclusive 2 and 6, 2 and 6 again, 7, 9, 4, 2, 9, 9, 10 again. I'm just trying to see if we get maybe 11, which we shouldn't. I'm hoping. Yeah, I think it's correct. Okay, so uh, yeah, 10 again. Yeah, it seems like it's working fine. We generate the numbers correctly. The calculations are performed correctly. The output is okay. You can always format the output, you know, using the decimal format uh, library, uh, but whatever, you don't have to do that. Anyway, I hope it helps you, and I'll see you next time. Take care.